everyone, me again. Uh, another quick uh, Asus router uh, video. Uh, this one's all about creating a custom script uh, and getting your Asus router to send emails. Uh, you can only do this if you've got the Merlin firmware installed. Uh, so please install that if you haven't. Um, I thought I'd start off with a script for emails because many of the custom scripts that you might want to write may involve sending out an email to let you know something's happened. So for me, for example, I've written a script that um, monitors CPU temperatures and then sends me an email if they go beyond a certain limit. And I've got a few other scripts as well that require email notifications. So I'm going to do this for Gmail, um, but you'll be able to adapt to this uh, for many of the other email providers as well. There are a couple of things you need to do uh, in order for this to work. So first one, obviously, is having the uh, Merlin firmware. Second one is to make sure that you've got the JFFS uh, custom scripts and configs enabled. So log into the router, go to administration and the systems tab. And then if you scroll down, you'll see here the option to turn that on. So make sure that's enabled. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you're also going to want to make sure that uh, SSH is also enabled. So once you've done that, there's also something else you need to do uh, for Gmail to work. Uh, with a, an app uh, that is uh, to set up uh, custom um, passwords for that. So head over to your Gmail account, log in, select security on the left. And then the first thing you want to do is scroll down to make sure you've got the two-step verification enabled. If you haven't, make sure you do. Uh, click on that. Once you're in the two-step uh, verification menu tab, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see something called app passwords. So here you can generate a specific password um, for various apps and devices that you want to be able to send emails out. Uh, so at the bottom, uh, just select app, choose custom, give it a name. I'm going to call it test mail. I've already got this set up, but I'll just show you how to do it anyway. And then press generate. This is the code you want to remember up here. So copy that, uh, write it down somewhere because you're going to need that um, when you create the script for the router. Click done. Then you see here that's there. I'm just going to delete that because I don't need it. I've already done it already. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is create the script. So this is the script I've created already. I will post this down in the description below so you can just copy and paste. But I just thought I'd run through it with you quickly. At the top here uh, are the instructions that have been commented out. Essentially, you just need to change the email credentials for your particular email account with Gmail. Then you're going to want to upload this script from your laptop uh, into the JFF S scripts directory on the Asus router. Make that executable by changing Gmod to 0755 and then choose either SSL or TLS, whichever you're using for your um, encryption for Gmail, and that will define the port that you use and the curl string that will actually send the email. So just scrolling through that, the first one you can see here, email address, from address. So all you need to do within these inverted commas uh, is put your email address in and then the to name, just put your name in there as the recipient and then the to address, that has to be your uh, Gmail email address. Keep the inverted, uh, keep the speech marks, by the way, when you do this. Username, obviously that's your uh, Gmail address in here and then the password, that's the one that we just created uh, over in uh, Gmail here. Uh, so I'm using um, SSL, so that means the port needs to be set to 465. If you're using TLS, just change that to 487. Um, then scroll down here, you'll see it says from name router. This command uh, nvram get product ID will get the name of your router. Mine's an RTAX88U, so that should appear uh, in the email. And then this, uh, these next few lines are just actually compiling the email to go. So here it takes the variables from uh, higher up, the uh, who it's going to, who it's from, the date, 
and then a message. So I've just put in the subject line, hello world, and then uh, in the text, an email from your router. Uh, that's the bit you can change uh, to be uh, specific for the particular message you want to receive. And then send with curl. So the curl here actually sends the email from your router. Just remember to change this line, the curl line, depending on whether it's uh, SSL or TLS. And I've put the curl lines in here. So you just copy and paste that down the bottom. So once you've uh, once you've set everything there, you want to select and copy all. So let's just copy that. Then open Win SCP so that you can um, access your uh, router, and then you can create um, the uh, the file that you need to. So if I just go ahead and log in. And I did do a video on this a couple of days ago to show you how to use WinSCP uh, to get in. So on the right hand side uh, is the remote um, router. So you can just check here that that is JFFSN scripts. If not, navigate to that. And then the first thing you want to do is create a new file. So here on the right, select file. Uh, you can call this test email and then press OK. Once that's open, just paste in um, the script that we've just gone through with all of your additions and then press save and close that out. So once that's saved, so before we test that, what you'd want to do is change the read write permission. So if you right click on the file that you've just created and then click on properties, you need to change the uh, permissions at the bottom to 0755 and press OK. All you would need to do to test it out is open up a uh, Windows shell. So if you go to the top there, that's included within WinSCP. And then just type out bash and then the name of the file, which was test email. So it's bash space test emails and press enter so that showed that it's sent so i'll just uh, show you a quick screen grab of the email that i received so you can see how that looks like uh, on an android device so i hope that helps and i think you can see that's going to be quite useful so over the uh, coming days and weeks i'll do a few more scripts to do specific things uh, on the router and as, a, as part of that we'll be sending out an email um, so that you know something's happened um, so this is obviously useful anyway i hope that helps if it does please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video